very dear brothers and sisters, we are here because we love Our Lady, Our Blessed. We're here because we have made a God's grace inspired to make the consecration to her Immaculate Heart. And this is wonderful. This makes her happy and she smiles. The consecration helps bring about her victory, her triumph in the world and over the evil one to crush his wicked head. The consecration is a beautiful, beautiful gift you and I give to Our Lady. But for her part, she takes the consecration seriously. She treats us as her own children. Why? What's the difference between people you know, children that you know down the street, versus your own children who live with you in your house? Why, your own children are special. You will give your life for them. You give everything to your children. Hopefully they're obedient to you and they return their love to you, huh? But your own children, so this is what it means to consecrate yourself to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. We become truly her own children as we have children in our home. It's not like the people down the street or those children at school that we know. These are, we become her children. So when we make the consecration, we enter into Our Lady's Immaculate Heart. What is her Immaculate Heart? It is like the most beautiful, beautiful, precious garden and we become the flowers like beautiful exquisite flowers with the most wonderful fragrance and our lady is the gardener and she's full of grace and she begins to apply her graces to each one of us to our souls so that we begin to grow within the garden of her immaculate heart and she fills us with her graces because she's our mother and she brings us to a great, a great holiness. And so, how great is this holiness that Our Lady brings us to? Maybe we feel, for example, well, Father Jay, I don't feel holy. I feel like I'm a sinner. Me siento como pecador, pecadora. But Our Lady is cleaning us. She's cleaning us. You remember when you used to have to wash the dishes by your hand in the sink and you had to put the liquid in in the water and you had to scrub the dishes and the water got dirty, but the dishes got clean. So sometimes we see the dirty water and we think, I'm such a great sinner, but we don't necessarily see the clean dishes. But that's what Our Lady's doing with us. She's cleaning us. She's purifying us. She's embellishing us. We belong totally to her, our past, our present, and our future. All that we are with the consecration, we are totally hers, like John Paul II, now Saint John Paul II. Totus tuus, ego sum. I am all yours, O Virgin Mary and all I have is yours. And look how Pope John Paul II went over all the nations of the earth. He radiated the grace and the holiness of God because he was so filled with the graces of Our Lady. He prayed his rosary every day. He offered his mass. He loved Our Lady. He was totally consecrated. Look what Our Lady did in him. And that's what she's doing in us each day. It's like a little baby, a small little infant. And when baby gets dirty, poo poo poo, what does mama do? You know, mama takes baby, she doesn't get mad at baby. She takes baby off to the side, into the baño, you know, the little restroom, and she cleans baby. And she loves, ooh, baby smells terrible. But she, but she cleans baby, huh? And baby then is squeaky clean. That's what Our Lady does with us. Did you ever think of it that way? That's exactly what Father Gobi would say. 
Father Gobi could be very earthy. He was Italian, of course. And that's one of the examples. Our Lady just cleans us up and makes us, because she loves us, and we're her children. We're consecrated to her. So then she tells us uh, to be joyful. Please be joyful in spite of what it all looks like today because these are her times. It's her victory that is assured. And so to be joyful, to be at peace, because it is not the, the dragon, the enemy, the devil, who will win this battle.